Hey, this is Danny from Scare Talk. Uh, Before we get into all the horror greatness, I got to let you know about Anchor. Anchor is the host site that we use to record our podcast. Um, Anchor will upload your podcast to Apple and Spotify and many other listening platforms. Anchor is completely free. And you can download the app or go to the website, anchor.fm. And you can record straight on there. There's also some cool editing tools that you can use. Um, Did I mention that it's free? Yeah, so if you want to make a podcast, Anchor is the way to go. Um, Yeah, go check it out. Now, for the spooky stuff. Welcome to Scare Talk, a horror movie podcast. For horror fans, this podcast will cover horror movie reviews, ratings, and rankings. Now for your hosts, Danny and Joel. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Scare Talk. I am Danny, and I'm here with Justice Joel. And oh man, <laughs> I like that. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> and <laughs> July Fourth, Joey. <laughs> yeah, USA. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the most anticipated horror film of the last few years um halloween kills 2021 Mm. all right this should be a good one joel oh yeah who do we got all right so this one stars jamie lee curtis she was in true lies beverly hills chihuahua (laughs) okay and (laughs) I, I, we've we've talked about her several times now, so I need to yeah. like, mix it up a little bit. <laughs> and my girl, <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. um, yeah, had to throw in some like depressing movie yeah. after that. <laughs> um, then we got Judy Greer. She's Karen. She's the daughter. She was an Archer, or is an Archer still? Like, that show's still going on. Um, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War for the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> And Jurassic World, who she also plays Karen. So, oh. I'm like, is there some Ooh. Halloween Jurassic Park spinoff series? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same character. Same character. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got Anthony Michael Hall. He is Tommy Doyle. Little Tommy comes back 40 years later. Um, and he's actually a, um, he was more popular in the 80s. He was an 80s star, 80s child actor. He was in The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, National Lampoon's Vacation, and more um, recently he was in a horror movie called Friend Request. <laughs> All right. So I think I've seen that. <clears throat> Friend Request? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I might have seen that. I think I saw that a couple years ago. I didn't recognize him, though. He's yeah. way different than when he was, <laughs> obviously, in the 80s as a child actor. Yeah. But... Um, uh, this was written by Scott Teams. He wrote The Quarry, and he's doing Firestarter and The Exorcist. Oh, all right. The, so both of those reboots. And then we've got Danny McBride, <laughs> also as a writer. <laughs> um, he wrote Eastbound and Down, The Righteous Gemstones TV show, um, a movie called Mr. Machine that's not out yet. I think it's still in production right now. And he is also writing Halloween Ends, okay, as well, <laughs> along with David Gordon Green. He was also the director of this movie. Um, he wrote Snow Angels, Prince Avalanche, and also The Machine. And um, he's directed Pineapple Express, <laughs> uh, Joe, which is a Nicolas Cage movie. Uh, yes. And he's also di- directing the upcoming Exorcist movie. As well as Hellraiser, which is going to be a mini uh, TV show, I think on Hulu. So mm-hmm. that'll be a 
So we got three reboots <laughs> among the yeah. writers and directors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three horror reboots. <laughs> so, although I think Exorcist is actually, I think they're doing the same thing that they did with Halloween, where it's a sequel to the first one. Right. Um, and it's gonna. Then he's actually planning, I think, three movies with that too. So. Yeah. So doing his next trilogy. <laughs> yeah, doing what he did with Halloween. Uh, yeah. Doing his own or, trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that'll be interesting. I'll, you know, I'll, I am looking forward to that, as opposed to it being just a, a straight reboot and then making it from there. It's still going to be a continuation of that first one. So. Right. All right, cool. Um, so for the synopsis, we have the saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode continues in the next thrilling chapter of the Halloween series. <laughs> It's a very He's generic. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> very generic. <laughs> There's already a synopsis for Halloween like Ends it. on IMDb too. Oh, is it's there? Very generic. Dude. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's all you really need. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, really I'm pretty sure you can have the same synopsis for all the movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the all right. Highly debated. <laughs> Halloween kills. Yeah. This one, Joey, I don't know if you've seen, but um, <clears throat> we're in some like horror groups on Facebook and uh, mm-hmm. follow some people on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, there's a lot of conflicting opinions mm-hmm. on this one, That's on, Hall- on yeah. Halloween kills. <laughs> um, Interesting. Yeah. Good and bad. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I would say, at least from what I've seen, you know, people who are negative are going to probably get more attention and going to put mm-hmm. their opinion out there a little more, uh, yeah. a little more often. So I've seen a lot of negative. Um, yeah. I've seen some positive, yeah. but a lot of negative. So. What's funny is it's all negative stuff about, it's all the same, um, negative like remarks. Like it's too brutal. It would, you know, it's, it's, Michael Myers isn't what? that brutal. Is one of them. Another one is. <laughs> oh the, my um, gosh! That's is so the dumb. writing, the writing and the acting, and yeah. it's like these are the same people oh. whose like favorite movie series is like Friday the Thirteenth, and it's like yeah. you can't, you can't say no. that about one, <laughs> right? One series, and then you know say that you love another series like that. that that's guilty of the exact same thing. Like it just, it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your, your opinion is kind of void at that point because why is it okay for one to, uh, you know, to be guilty of that and be okay, and you you love it for those reasons, and then another movie not, you know, be yeah. hated for the same exact reasons. <laughs> right. Yeah this right. this movie had some high expectations um, mm-hmm. going in. Uh, did you you guys saw the trailer? Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah. I think, you know, the trailer got people excited too, even though some people said it showed too much. I think, um, after watching the movie, it definitely did not show too much. I think mm-hmm. it, it was mm-hmm. a good trailer to get I people, agree. get people excited. And, and there was plenty more of the movie to see. Um, yeah. so I don't think the trailer was, was too much. And there was a couple trailers and I don't think they were giving away too much. Mm-hmm. I do think that you probably would have liked it a little bit better if you hadn't seen any trailers, though, just because sure. you're not expecting it to be as yeah. as brutal or have as high of a kill count as it had. Yeah, I think I heard someone say it would have like there was like 28 kills in this movie, <laughs> um, <laughs> which, <laughs> which they showed like maybe six in the trailers. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. some of the some of them that they showed in the trailers were actually some of the more brutal deaths that I think. Right. Um, so it definitely would have, it, it definitely didn't, um, feel like they showed too much, but at the same time, it probably would have been better. I I mean, I think that's the same way with any trailer, really. You go in not having any expectations, not knowing anything about the movie, it's probably going to be better than, um, if you had seen a trailer for it. Um, because there's no expectations whatsoever. But um, but I mean yeah, this has been on our most anticipated list since last year. So yeah, had to um, watch a trailer. Finally getting to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Couldn't yeah that I mean that's always the case you know try to not watch mm-hmm. it but you got to watch it. Yeah, 
yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch yeah, it. I gotta watch it. Come on. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I like have a lot of respect for people who can just not watch it. I'm like, mm-hmm. I gotta watch it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for like a movie like this. Like, yeah. yeah it, it's, yeah. Yeah. It kind of sucks that yeah. we should be talking about Halloween ends right now instead of. Halloween kills, but yeah. Patience, Joel. Patience. <laughs> yeah, I there's know. a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Have a heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, for this one, I don't know if I want to go like straight, you know, positives and then negatives. I'm just going to ask you guys what you thought. No. Okay. So okay. Joey, we'll start with you, and then we okay. can kind of all chime in as we as we go through. But cool. um, what did you think overall? And we'll I we'll uh, let's hold off yeah, on spoilers. Spoilers okay. until yeah. the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I really really enjoyed it <clears throat> quite a bit. Um, mm-hmm. I think you know it's the middle it's a middle movie in a trilogy, so I mm-hmm. feel like it it is what it is. I mean, it doesn't you know really move the needle, move the story too much. I guess you could say, but I think for what it is, it's pretty well done. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, you know, I have a couple of notes. Um, you know, the music always gets me. I thought the music was oh, yeah. like really well placed and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the overall look of the movie too, like the cinematography, I thought the acting was pretty solid. Um, yeah, it's, it still has some like nostalgic scenes in there, right. like the feel of it, mm-hmm. right. you know, how he's kind of standing in the background and stuff, especially like in the park. I thought that was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, like when they're like, well, I guess we're not going over like spoilers, but it's not really a spoiler. You know, they're standing in the park, you know, they're on the swings and stuff. And then you see them like way in the background. Right. I think that's mm-hmm. what it was. I thought that was so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. That part's in the trailer. So there's no spoilers there. Yeah. I never saw that one in the trailer though. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Really? Um, no, oh, I never the did. The second one, I think. Yeah. The second trailer. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I missed that one, but, uh, oh. I said the old school feel, um, love the ending, love the kills, especially the one with, uh, uh, I guess it's his nurse, I guess, and her husband in the house with a light bulb. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I don't think that's a spoiler. I mean, you know, you put two together. No, that's also in the trailer. Yeah. That light bulb. Oh, was it in the trailer too? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that, I thought that was so cool. Yeah. And like Mm -hmm. so badass. Um, and then, uh, the yeah, I mean, kill for sure. <laughs> yeah, I overall, I just really liked it a lot. <clears throat> nice, mm-hmm. yeah. the The music for sure uh, is always is always going to be solid with a, a Halloween film, but especially going after the um, twenty eighteen film, which had great music. Um, mm-hmm. John Carpenter and I think his son, his son, yeah, yeah were the um, you know people behind the music and. Uh, John Carpenter is like the you know originator of the Halloween theme and all mm-hmm. that, so it makes yeah. sense that the music on this film would be, you know, back to kind of that that same feel, gives that atmosphere of a Halloween movie. Yeah, which is Definitely. yeah really cool. Um, it's really cool that you came back for this one because he yeah. hasn't done a Halloween movie in a while. I think. Yeah, I think the um, last one been a part he, of it. Yeah, I think the last one he was a part of was. Two. Yeah, I think that oh, wow. was the last one he was yeah. a part of. So it's it, it speaks for the story that they're trying to tell um, in this series. The fact that they they were able to bring back Jamie Lee Curtis and John Carpenter. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, obviously they're not hurting for a paycheck. So there's something in this script in this whole series that they they saw and they liked because there's yeah. a difference between making a sequel to a movie and there's a different a sequel and a second part of a trilogy yeah like second a uh, sequel is just you know you make them because the first one makes a lot of money <laughs> but if you have a trilogy right. in mind you have a beginning middle and an end that right. you, that you see mm-hmm. in mind so that's a completely different thing altogether and what Joey was saying was um, was spot on about it. Maybe not moving the story forward a whole lot, but um, you definitely need that that middle part of a trilogy is usually um, it's it's not 
most of the time it doesn't really move the story along. It's it's just you know it's just the middle of the movie. It's not the beginning or an end of a movie. It's it's right smack in the middle of of a story that you're trying to tell. So um, some of it may may seem a little slower, or some stuff may be um, that you know they're not they're not moving anything forward. But you just have to wait for the entire story to be made right. before yeah. you can really tell um, if the story was a good story or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> so the purpose of this one, um, and I think we can kind of tell from the title, Halloween Kills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and <a> bit upset. <laughs> yeah, and the <laughs> the you know what the trailer showed. It the purpose of this movie was to show Michael just going crazy and that's Mm -hmm. exactly it's it's funny like i look back to when we were talking about one of i think it was our first episode yeah when we talked about what we were anticipated for in 2020 and we were kind of talking about what we wanted out of halloween kills and that's exactly Mm -hmm. what i said i just want michael to go crazy and just kill a bunch of people and walk around and you know just i want to see michael Mm -hmm. a lot (laughs) And yeah. right. we got a lot of that in this one. So I can't can't complain too much about it because that's exactly mm-hmm. what I asked for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, uh, speaking of the music, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but <laughs> there's a couple of things. So there was one scene, and yeah, I'm just going to be very vague about it, but Michael is at the top of um, stairs. It's toward the end of the movie. And he walks down the stairs and the music there was really different. Did you guys hear that? He's walking down the stairs. It's after a kill. He's walking oh, down after- the stairs, oh, okay. and he's yeah. uh, going toward one of the main characters. And it's toward mm-hmm. the end of the movie. At the end of the movie, mm. there was a real change in music. It was like yeah. way out of place in my mind. It sounded cool. But when it yeah. hit, when that music hit, I was like, whoa, this is very different. <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah. I was not expecting that. Um, <laughs> so if you didn't notice it, like when you watch it again, pay attention For to, that, sure. to that part. Because, yeah, we were like in theaters and Katrina, my wife, she's next to me. And she's like, oh, this is a different jingle. Jingle. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. So, yeah, a different jingle. I I watched it in theaters and I watched it on Peacock, and um, I didn't notice. I didn't know like that particular moment in the movie. Hmm. I don't think I noticed a a difference, but yeah, I'll have to check it out again. Yeah, it was. um, There's a couple of parts in the 2018 film where you know he definitely uh, John Carpenter definitely branches out from the Halloween the typical Halloween theme and some of those mm-hmm. like um, typical scores and does some creative stuff. And it really worked in that one. And I feel like he just kind of kept that going with this one. And yeah. um, especially that part was definitely uh branching out. <laughs> so mm-hmm. yeah, take, <laughs> yeah. Pick, try to pick up on that next time. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it, some of this movie goes back to 1978 and mm-hmm. yeah uh part there the the score was like really sped up i don't know if you guys noticed that either but it sounded like off i was like thrown off by it when it when it started hitting mm-hmm. and it wasn't the theme mm-hmm. it was like the dun 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 it was like that yeah. but it was like super fast and it yeah. really threw me off because I'm like, ah, what's happening? Like, this is not right. <laughs> this That's is not how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it took me a second to adjust to that. I was like, whoa, this yeah. is, what's going on? <laughs> I do kind of remember that. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, it, a it, little bit. Yeah, it really threw me off. I was like, oh, I, I hope this doesn't, it's not how the whole movie is because that's not right. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, the music, it's not right. <laughs> it doesn't feel like Halloween. <laughs> no, dude, dude, that's important. It is. <laughs> oh, yeah, the music definitely is a, a important part of the, of the series overall, yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, you know, we, we kind of just mentioned the um, connection to the 1978 original. 
Um, without yeah. giving away too much of that, what did you guys think of that? I loved it. Um, I, it, it definitely still had the feel of the original movie, mm-hmm. which I loved. Mm-hmm. Um, along with, some... so these were added scenes. Yeah. Correct. These were not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't remember anything from the <laughs> For sure. on this one. <laughs> and the acting from the kids uh-huh. was so bad. I was like, okay, this actually <laughs> kind of does match the original <laughs> movie as far as the acting goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, those like three, what, um, I think they're, um, brothers and sisters or something. They're, they're picking on a, um, another kid, right? Yeah, they're picking yeah. on Lonnie. Yeah, yeah. And that 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 girl was so bad. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking, like, where where are they at in the in the story? Like, that's kind yeah. of random to have the kids yeah. in there in right. a flashback sequence. That's not actually a flashback. Something that was added for a flashback to not have them in the movie itself as right. adults. Right, was yeah. kind of strange. I mean, I know people move out of towns when they get older, but you know, it would seem just having them in it kind of seems, um, unless they're going to have a part in the next movie, which is possible um, as adults, it just seemed kind of out of place, really, yeah. for the most part. But um, overall, yeah. like the flashback sequence was really cool, it was really good. Yeah, and um, they 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 nailed the. Um, the scenery they nailed like the um um what it felt like <laughs> mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. from the original and they did it really well what do you think joey yeah hey, i loved it i thought it was, i thought it was so cool especially like when the mm-hmm. two officers go in and then all of a sudden you see michael myers in the mm-hmm. background and stuff and they i thought it was just i thought it was really well done I, I like mm-hmm. how at the end of it, well, I guess we're not going into spoilers, but I like the end of it, how it kind of ties the the end of the first one, the end of the original first one in as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I thought that was like yeah. a cool way to kind of tie tie it in um, without giving too much away. But yeah. yeah, I thought it was I thought it was really cool. Yeah, the acting. I mean, maybe they were trying to mimic 1978 acting, maybe kid acting, but. Um, yeah, I did, yeah, the acting didn't really stand out that. to me. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I think overall, I thought it was, I thought it was like really well placed. It, I was actually surprised that they actually went back in time. Yeah. Um, in that movie, I thought it was, I thought it w- was pretty valuable as far as like the mm-hmm. the story goes. Right. Um. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite things about this movie is how well it connects to the mm-hmm. first film and to the 2018 film. There's certain things, and we can talk about it when we talk about spoilers, but there's certain things that are done in this Halloween Kills that are really subtle that connect either to the 2018 film or the first film. And I thought, you know, that's cool because that's like respecting your audience's like attention to detail. And yeah. I think that that's really cool. Now, I think there are other times when they don't respect the audience um <laughs> like the lack of uh, <laughs> they, they think the audience <laughs> needs to be told things over and over again yeah. um <laughs> but uh so can, but yeah, i show us don't tell us <laughs> i uh <laughs> i do like the connection from the, uh, mm-hmm. to those three films um yeah there's one there's one connection in particular 2018 that we can talk about in the spoiler section that i really appreciated <laughs> okay that they actually talked about a couple of times um, in this movie. Yeah. That, yeah, that I was actually, I was actually saying in the 2018 review. Yes. I know what you're about, talking about. Yeah. 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 We've talked about so that. I'm so glad they addressed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've talked so we'll about, talk that, about a that a little bit. bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I want to talk about the kills a little bit. They, mm-hmm. they were cool. Um, the kills were good. Mm-hmm. I think that that was kind of expected in this one, which is, uh, again, what I was asking for. Um, and just the brutality of, of Michael. Um, I think the portrayal of Michael was perfect. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's exactly what you want Michael Myers to be. Um, the mask looked awesome. Um, the firefighter scene at the, that was so cool. Yeah. 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 That was great. Do you see the, uh, petition going around? (laughs) 
to um, have them take that part out of the movie. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. So what, what, what is it about? It was a petition um, going around to have them take out the firefighter scene because it portrayed firefighters getting murdered. Oh and God. a Michael Myers yeah. Halloween movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I mean, literally anybody could say that, you know. Like, yeah. it all oh, portrayed wow. the nurse getting murdered. <laughs> yeah. Gotta yeah. take it out. Gosh. Your first responder. <laughs> Kill doctors and nurses. Yeah. <laughs> God for not during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> These are our heroes. Yeah, they're they're warriors. They're going to war. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> um. So so yeah, the kill the kills were awesome. Um. Uh. There's some callbacks to some of the other movies. Um. Again, that are kind of kind of subtle, but really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Halloween three reference in there. Yeah, there's a Halloween three part. There's a Halloween two part. Um, and let's see. What about the characters? What did you guys think of uh the characters? Like Jamie Lee Curtis. What did you think of Laurie Strode in this one? I think she. I think she was cool. I mean, that she basically has the same character, like not the same character, obviously as Halloween. But going back to Halloween two, like she spends the entire time in the hospital. Yeah. In this movie and in that movie, and it's like okay, you don't get a whole lot from her. Yeah. Um. So I am for that reason, I am glad that we are getting a four-year time jump. Um. Friends. In the next Halloween movie, just because it gives her time to heal up and yeah. actually be a main focus of right. the yeah. next movie. Right. Um. Because in this one, she didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. You know, but I mean, her character is always awesome. Um. Well, not always. It's, it's been awesome since H two O. Um. So for me, uh, one of the big negatives I have about this movie is some of the acting. Um. Yeah. But her acting was good. I. Mm-hmm. I. Yeah. It was kind of like refreshing actually to see her. Uh, scenes with her. I was like, yeah. Okay, this is. You guys should take Halloween. some notes here, yeah. <laughs> because some of the other. <laughs> characters acting was not the best um it could so. also be the writing too well like the writing for these characters aren't the greatest either yeah it's it's kind of going back to 2018's like the dad character yeah how his the writing for him was not very good either <laughs> yeah so they know how to write for certain characters but they don't know how to write for others yeah and this movie has a lot more characters in it than 2018 one did yeah so um I mean, you're bringing characters, you're bringing actors back from the original movie. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, I, I kind of figured that the acting wasn't going to be perfect because of that reason. <laughs> um. But then you're also bringing back actors like Anthony Michael Hall, who's been, you know, acting since the 80s. So you would think that his acting would be amazing. Yeah. Um. And again, I don't know if it was the writing, but his character was not very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought. I uh, yeah, I thought he was okay. I th- that's the thing. I thought they were okay, but then mm-hmm. when Lori was on screen, I was like, okay, this is much better. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the dialogue. Um, that's the big negative I think most people have is the yeah. writing, some of the dialogue, some of the repeated, um, lines. Evil guys tonight. Yeah, and <laughs> I need to. It has to be me. I'm the one that needs yeah. to kill him and. Yeah, you know. we got that from a couple of characters. <laughs> like, all right, guys. <laughs> and it can't uh, be both of you. <laughs> yeah. And forty years ago, you know, like they, they, yeah, there was quite a bit of that, and that'd be the big gave, negative for me. I wonder if, if Tommy gave that speech every year leading up to this year. <laughs> so it's, he, it's de- been 40 he definitely years. did. <laughs> I I think so, or at least to a certain extent, because they were saying the bartender said that. You know that yeah that happens every year. Like they show up yeah, every year. Like, so you can have the same speech. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it worked this time, but you yeah. know, forty years later, <laughs> yeah, it finally worked. <laughs> but. Um, and so I feel like this movie had some pretty 
awesome scenes. So when it comes mm-hmm. to the spoilers, I want to talk about specific scenes because I think as a whole, it's a good movie. But if you really look at certain scenes, I'm like, dude, those scenes were cool. Uh, nobody yeah. can, yeah. nobody can tell me that they're not. Some of the dialogue, mm-hmm. okay, I get why people wouldn't like it. Um, but then when it comes to certain scenes and kills and you know just the way that they utilize like lighting and music and stuff like that, yeah. that's where this movie hits a home run for me. Is all that kind of stuff. So, okay, um, <clears throat> there is a little side story um, that we don't need to get into, but there's another character um, who people are going after, and oh yeah, what did you guys think of that? What it, specifically? So wait, I don't just in general, I guess. Yeah, like, you did know. you like that? Did you like having like this side story um, with this other uh, mental patient? Who, oh, that yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I. That's a pretty clear I got answer. You. No. <laughs> I think it was good just to see because I mean the whole point of that scene was to show m- the whole like mob mentality. Yeah. Um, yeah. And how that's probably not the most efficient way of getting stuff done. Um. It was bound to happen because I mean the the bus that was taking Michael Myers crashed and multiple people escaped yeah and so i mean it was bound to like one of them was bound to come up at one point right um and so it it just it felt kind of out of place but at the same time like i i do kind of like the whole mob mentality um aspect of it like the yeah you, it was trying to show it was it like was, trying to was, prove a point to yeah. a certain extent, trying to, you know, throw some, like, social commentary in there. Um, yeah. But Michael never goes without his mask. Yeah. And the height difference was <laughs> yeah. way off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's and he was not here. very threatening. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I could take it or leave it. I, yeah. I don't think it was necessary um, to do no. that. You could have, you could have probably, um, made that point in different ways and yeah. didn't and it was kind of right. a long portion of the movie too it was super long so uh, <laughs> yeah i mean the movie would have been less than an hour and a half if the end had that, that part <laughs> well they it. could have shown another kill or something <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on <laughs> so yeah that that stuff and the dialogue kind of what um is negative for me Mm-hmm. Um, did you guys want to add anything else that you liked um, or that you didn't like? Uh, actually, you know, the only dislike that I had was on my notes, uh, the mob scene in the hospital. That yeah. was literally the only thing I wrote down. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it just doesn't really, I felt like it was misplaced. It kind of ruined the kind of the pace of the, the movie a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't really care about this like mental patient and stuff. It's like. Like, are we supposed to really care about that they're trying to track him down and stuff? And then he jumps out the window. Like, hey, really? hey, like too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I understand. I understand like the the social commentary and stuff, but I'm like, I don't really care about this stuff. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, it not, doesn't really it doesn't really change the story at all. Yeah, not in a Halloween film. You know, yeah. no, it's not really what you're looking for. I wouldn't say, and I'm you hoping that. Yeah. Go you ahead. don't get that hardly ever in like movies in general, though. Like, yeah. The whole what mob mentality can actually do, right? Um. So in yeah. for that, I did appreciate having it in there a little bit, but it's like at this point, they're going after someone who's at this point probably killed fifteen people mm-hmm. in this movie alone. <laughs> <laughs> By the time they even get the mob going, so it's like I don't really. I mean. Yes, it's an important thing to talk about. Mob mentality is not is not ever a good, you know, a good thing to um <clears throat> to have, but at the same time you are going after Michael Myers. So you do yeah. need as many people as possible to take this guy down. Yeah. But um their weapons of choice though, 
Like, there's no way I would be anywhere near Michael Myers with a baseball bat. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's not happening. I need a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I need to be <laughs> at least 10 feet away from this guy before I'm going to start attacking. <laughs> <laughs> and there was, um, there was a scene somebody, like, took a picture of and put it on, like, Facebook about, like, it showed the the weapons that the mob was was holding was um, carrying. Yeah, and one lady um, was holding an iron. <laughs> you really have, you have to get really close to Michael in order to use that thing. Yeah, and you need to be near an outlet. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's already burnt up too so and you got to bring an iron yeah board. an ironing board yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me just iron your mask for you <laughs> yeah oh man oh, that's man. dumb that's that is dumb. funny yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right uh joel you want to add anything before we give our grades and then spoiler it up um spoil the whole movie for everybody yeah yes spoil everything probably already been done anyway <laughs> to some capacity um not a whole lot i think we really talked about everything without spoiling stuff okay um i mean we're gonna go deeper into the characters a little bit and yeah um yeah yeah i don't yeah i don't think there's much else to talk about all right um, okay well let's go with some grades then uh joey what do you got I'm going to go with 87%. All right. That's good. What would you give yeah. the uh, 2018 film? Uh, I would probably give similar. Maybe okay. a little bit lower. Maybe like maybe 84, 85. I remember liking it a little bit less. Okay. What about yeah. uh, the original? Mm. I would give the original... Uh, I'll give it 92, 93. Okay. I just wondering yeah. where you're, you know, yeah. comp- you know, between the three of them, yeah. where you're at. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. And, um, and I also like, I also like H2O a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Joel, where are you at? Um, I think I'm going to give this one a 90. A 90. All right. Yes. I did really like this movie. Um, if we're going to talk about where we're putting it in our ranking. Yeah. I think I had Halloween um, 2018 as my number two right behind Halloween. And so I think I'm going to put this one as number three. I really like this movie. Yeah. I liked it slightly less than the um, the last one. Okay. Just because I felt like, yeah, the kills were definitely more brutal and there were definitely more of them. But there was... They did a good job with starting the story up again and you know getting all that getting reacquainted reacquainted with the characters and um and honestly (laughs) what we're going to be talking about here in a little bit actually kind of made me like the last one a little bit more now that we've kind of had some closure on a certain part of the movie of the last story yeah um so yeah this one yeah, I really like this one, but yeah, it's slightly less for me um, than okay. 2018. All right. Um, so I'm going 92. Um, nice. I'm probably the biggest Halloween fan in this group. <laughs> Definitely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, I've seen it twice now. I really mm-hmm. enjoyed it more the second time. Um, mm-hmm. After watching it the first time... You know, I liked it, but I was kind of hung up on some things. And there was a couple of parts where I was like, how did that happen? And yeah. then watching it the second time, I was like, oh, okay. I, I get it now. Like, that makes sense. They kind of did tie up that, that part that I was curious about. So, um, so I did like it more the second time. Um, so yeah, 92. Yeah, you and this would catch more, nice. um, with multiple viewings for yeah. sure. Um, this would be number two in my ranking. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, All I'm right. pretty sure. Very cool. Because we've done a ranking, and I'm pretty sure yeah. I didn't give anything in the 90s other than the first one. So. Yeah, I think you gave like a 95 to the first one. Yeah. So. Uh, or even like a 98. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I was up there. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. So let's pick it apart a little bit. Spoiler alert. It's time yeah, to yes. dig in. So, <laughs> a couple of scenes I wanted to talk about was the beginning. So the uh, mm-hmm. connection. Um, well, not the very beginning. I mean, I like how it literally starts at the end of the 2018 movie. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Which was cool. Love that. Um, but then it goes yeah. into a flashback <clears throat> with uh, Hawkins character. It's a long flashback too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a pretty long sequence. So what do you guys think of some of those uh, specific parts in the flashback? So is Hawkins a uh, rookie? Yeah. At this point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I figured he, he was. I think they call him pretty young. I think they call him rookie at some point. <clears throat> oh, okay. I must have missed that part. Yeah, I kind of figured he was a rookie because it was just... I liked that they um, included a character that they obviously added in the 2018 movie. They kind of, you know, went back and re-added that character in the original. (laughs) Right. Um, That was kind of an interesting touch, for sure. Um, So I I wonder if he's going to be like more of a main focus in the next movie. Yeah, because um, he wasn't really. I mean, he wasn't really doing a whole lot in this one. Like, like Lori, he was also in the hospital. Yeah. So, um, he's probably gonna have a, a bigger focus in that one in the next one too, which is gonna be pretty cool. But, um, but yeah, I liked, I liked the, um, I liked the character. Um, it made it more real the fact that he missed Michael. <laughs> right. When he was choking out his um, his partner. Um, I mean, it would have been too Hollywood if you just like shot him in the head right there. Like, okay, you're a rookie, you know, I know you've had training, but you're not that good of a shot yet. So, yeah. um, yeah, I, I liked, um, Officer Hawkins part. I think he was probably the best part of that whole flashback sequence. We did get a little Dr. Loomis in there too. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> not, not really him. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. But um, they did a really good job with, um, I think it was one of like the people that were um, on set of the movie. One of the, one of the guys kind of looked like, um, like Donald Pleasance. So they're like, let's put some makeup on you. And <laughs> um, so none of that was actually CGI. That was all like yeah. just, um, so that was, a, that was pretty cool seeing Dr. Loomis, but also not Dr. Loomis at the same time. <laughs> right. Um, having him in there, so yeah, I I did enjoy those <laughs> scenes, and there was also a little bit of the stalking in there too. Yeah, his original, um, what you know, Michael was really known for the whole stalking thing, and then yeah. they go and chase him, and he disappears. Right, <laughs> it's classic Michael. <laughs> um, classic. So, yeah, that was pretty cool too. Classic Michael. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Joey, did you like the Loomis? appearance i i thought that was so cool yeah and, and i actually thought that he looked like him quite yeah, a bit yeah he yeah. did i mean mm-hmm. i mean i mean from the naked eye i mean it's not you know and he's, he's in not there, that different yeah he's in there pretty quick very so, briefly mm-hmm. yeah yeah and i think you know i think uh what was it halloween four or no, halloween four right when that when that little girl goes down the stairs and stuff yeah i feel like that was kind of like a good omen to that i guess okay. i don't know if that's I don't know if you guys saw that. You guys are a little bit more like well versed on Halloween history and stuff, but you know, you know, that's what I thought of. Like when he was coming down the mm-hmm. stairs and he saw, right. you know, uh, Doctor Loomis and stuff. And you know, I liked how, you know, I like, you know, I alluded to it earlier. Like I like how it like tied everything in as far as they had the sh- the chance to kill him right then and there, and yeah. then the officer pulled the gun away, right, and he had that guilt. Like for everything that was mm-hmm. happening that night, now forty years later, yeah. Um, I thought it like that it was really cool to tie it in. Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. I don't, maybe, not. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Maybe well, not. Well, Loomis <laughs> he had that guilt for forty years, but I mean, Loomis was about to shoot him in the head. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, but <laughs> with, with <laughs> but who knows if he would have seen Michael died? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I don't know if I would actually. Well, in this for forty years, in this and, timeline, he's only been 
shot a few times. And, <laughs> and he fell off a second floor. Uh, yeah, at that mm-hmm. point. And yeah. then he was, you know, in 2018, he hit it. I liked how they had him um, go into that little uh, area where she had all of her guns. Yeah. He was kind of hiding in there um, mm-hmm. when the firefighter came down there. Yeah. And yeah. so then he like rolls it up and he's right there. I'm like, oh, okay. Now, mm-hmm. that's that's, that's cool because <laughs> it, yeah. it could have just been he was just down there, you know, and then, the, you know, and then he kills the firefighter while he's like on fire or something. Um, mm-hmm. But no, they had him like kind of have a little hideaway spot so that he didn't really get hurt. So, yeah, right. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Loomis thing was cool. Um, I almost wish they didn't show him, though. At one point during the flashback, you can hear his voice. Like, you can hear him talking outside. Yeah. And um, then they show him, and it, they did a really good job with how they made him look. Um, mm-hmm. But then I'm just like, we know that he's not alive. I don't know. Yeah. It just <laughs> it's, it kind of was, like, kind of weird. I don't know. Um, yeah, because you know it's I not him, that. you know. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you he's an just, imposter. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but you had his voice in there. Yeah, you had his voice in yeah. there, and I thought, oh, cool, they're you know having him in this scene, and then they show him, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay, and so what did you guys think of uh the bar scene? I guess with Tommy's. Uh, speech. With Tommy and friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With his speech and and Lonnie and Lindsay and um, Marion. Marion, yeah, the, Marian, the yeah. nurse. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was kind of weird. Like my first thought in that scene, um, and this was like even before his speech. I'll get into that in, in a second. But the fact that they were going to um I, I you know obviously bars have karaoke and open mic nights but i didn't know that they had talent shows yeah <laughs> and that couple, yeah, so that couple was going watch. there for the talent show <laughs> yeah i, I like, thought okay. that was a weird comment yeah we're, we're here for the talent show yeah. you mean <laughs> like, i don't think this is middle school like what, what's yeah. going on here <laughs> Yeah, I was like, okay, that's a little a little weird. Like, you know, you could have said that you're here for the open mic night or something. But <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that's an actual thing in the bars have talent shows. <laughs> yeah, maybe. America's um, got talent. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that part was kind of weird. I do like that couple, though. And um, the 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 nurse and doctor yeah. couple. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't see them... For much longer, but there, I like the characters <laughs> for when you do see them. <laughs> um, and it was really cool. I so I know people have been saying that they've been showing too much in the trailers, and I do disagree for the most part. But it would have been cool to not know that there was going to be a connection between the very first movie and this movie. Yeah, and they did show; they straight up showed. The characters returning in yeah. the second trailer, yeah. which I thought was was it would have been a, a more of a impact seeing them actually there um, in that movie as opposed to already knowing they're going to be in the movie yeah. itself. Um, um, Joey, did you know that that was going to happen? What was that? Did you know that there was going to be the returning characters? I did. Okay. Yeah. I, I think, oh, yeah, okay. was it back? I think it was shortly after 2018. I think yeah. it was like announced or whatever. Yeah. So I knew, mm-hmm. I knew it was coming up. It, you know, it kind of felt like a little forced to me a little bit mm-hmm. to have them back. I thought it was cool uh, and nostalgic and stuff, but it seemed like a little forced yeah. sort of, um, especially mm-hmm. really only the bar scene felt kind of forced. Mm-hmm. Um, I really enjoyed like the, with the nurse Marion, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. her kill was really cool. Like in the car coming like kind of like full circle. Right. You know, because right. she escaped the car. Yeah. yeah. Um, she and then she got the killed in the car. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? I kind of like, you know, just thinking about it now, I kind of like how those characters didn't hold on the entire movie. Like they weren't yeah. like the last survivors. Right. I like how mm-hmm. they kind of were killed off early because I was like, I don't want them just to be like kill them one, like one by one, 
have them stretch out the entire movie and stuff. Because I don't really, like, care about the characters that much. Right. So it made for, like, a cool, like, you know, first kind of third of the movie. But for what it was, I thought it was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the bar scene was, like, a little awkward, a little weird. Um, but, you know, it was short. It was short. It didn't really bother yeah. me that much. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a short little scene then in there. But, it, yeah. Um, I... I'm just not a big fan of of Tommy. <laughs> like yeah. I like the yeah. character itself. It's just you know the actor who portrayed him. Um, I just don't think he did a very good job. And they actually wanted to get Paul Rudd back in there, um, but he was filming Ghostbusters. He actually wanted to be oh. a part of it. And what they should have done is have his character be in Halloween End so that they could get Paul Rudd back in there. Yeah. Um, because I think he probably would have done a better job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that, um, that would have been really I mean, cool. he's already played Tommy, so he knows the character. Um, but, I mean, he was a teenager when he did, so his character's obviously older now. But, um, or early 20s or whatever. Um, but, yeah, it, it would have been... Although at the same time, it kind of may have taken the focus off of Halloween. If you throw in Paul Rudd in there, I don't know. It's yeah, maybe because yeah. he's such a big actor now. <laughs> yeah, um, a lister. Yeah, but um, I I don't know. I I feel like the Tommy role could have been played by anybody. He sure. didn't. He yeah. wasn't. Um, you know, it was he was just some guy that was in charge of of the mob basically. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and that's about it. Like that's all that he did. And that could have been played by anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the but. little kid in the first one didn't really have much of a character, you know, he was just a little no, kid yeah. who was afraid of the boogeyman. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and Joey, so you were talking about some of the, the forced feel. And I think yeah. that has to do with the writing because they were, kind of constantly talking about 40 years ago blah 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 blah. yeah and you know uh, he needs to die tonight and yeah some of that stuff was just i feel like they did that way too much Mm -hmm. um where it could have it could have been more brief and they could have just shown that the characters um you know anger or their uh you know how they're holding on to this with their actions you know rather than having them say it you know each time they introduce a character i feel like that character has to say that in a way yeah and um and they had to just talk about you know 40 years ago this happened like even big john mm-hmm. and little john <laughs> yeah <laughs> even they uh, <laughs> even they mention it because they're living in the house so yeah yeah um no way would i ever live in that house by the way <laughs> oh i totally would <laughs> You would? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Live. I mean, he's still alive. like he's. It's so creepy. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be one thing. It'd be one thing if they if um, Michael was like long dead at this point, but he's he's still alive. Like he was still in a mental hospital. Like oh, that almost makes it better. His. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like right now, I would live in. Well, Charlie Manson, he's dead now, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, I would live in his house if I. You know. You know um, hell no. <laughs> you know Nancy's house from Nightmare on Elm Street's on sale. Oh yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I would live there for sure. Um, <laughs> that would be really cool because that's that's a movie. That's not even real. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. That an would actual, be. Like, yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> Um, okay, so did you guys, so this is one of the subtle connections to the 2018 movie. Did you guys pick up on the connection with the nurse and the doctor? Uh, the, I, they were dressed I, as a nurse the, and a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. There was, I, it's, I did go back and watch the 2018 movie about a couple months ago in preparation for this. Um, I, they looked kind of familiar from that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, were they in the first one? They were in the 2018 movie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Very, very briefly, and huh. they were not like a um, a focus. What okay. basically happens is it's when Michael is first like kind of going around the town. Um, he goes into the uh, like the little shed, gets that hammer, kills the lady in the house. You know that scene mm-hmm. where he's kind of walking yeah. through the neighborhood. Well, like at one point, the movie. yeah. At one point, he's kind of on the sidewalk, 
and in the background there's uh, a couple, you know, going out for Halloween, and um, one dresses as a nurse and the other as a doctor, and he says, oh, I forgot my stethoscope, and he runs back in the house. Mm. Oh. And oh, they're the same people. To... Yeah. Man, you need to hang wow. on to that stethoscope. <laughs> yeah, and then he does it again. <laughs> yeah. In, in this one. That thing. Yeah. So that's, I thought that was super cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to rewatch that again. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was that was one of I my favorite cool. parts. Until, uh, <laughs> I can't wait for Halloween Ends to actually come out to like own, so I can just just watch all four back to back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to like get the the full story of yeah. of this series that they're doing here. Right. But um, because there's gonna be stuff that they're gonna talk about in certain movies that are gonna be referenced, and yeah, um, it's already happened. So um, yeah. One of the scene that I was talking about earlier um, that Danny knows about the whole. So the thing that irritated me about the 2018 version for the first half of the movie was Laurie Strode. Her character just she had been through quite a bit. And um, in the original story, like three of her friends were murdered. But um, the the fact that she turned into like this completely reclusive um like just to herself like just basically to a point where her daughter had to go into like foster care because she was just so obsessed with michael myers um yeah to the point that she had to rig her own house (laughs) right to after like 40 years i mean it just it seemed a little bit too much and um it, her character was cool at the, at the last half of it. She was kind of a badass and that, but she, her character was just, it was, it's too much for that character. Like it's, um, I know there's always a breaking point for, for most people, but I, I feel like 40 years is, is kind of a long time to hold on to, to that, um, anger and, um, and fear. Well, fear. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Fear. What was cool about what they talked about in this movie was the fact that Michael wasn't going after her in the first place. Like she, that was her whole fear was that she's he's gonna break out and come after her. But that wasn't the case at all. Allison even mentioned it that um, the doctor, um, what was his name, Sartain in 2018, Sartain was dropping. He was the one obsessed with the whole Michael and Laurie thing that he actually was dropping off Michael at at Lori's house, like the area that she was living in. Um, <clears throat> and it wasn't actually Michael that was going after her. It was Sartain that was bringing them together kind of thing. Right, right. He was just trying to go home. <laughs> yeah. That was his whole motivation. He he probably didn't even know who Lori was. Like there's there's no sibling connection in this in this series. Because you find out that they're that they're brother and sister in Halloween two, and this trilogy completely um, it it it's a continuation of Halloween one. Yeah. So they're not related right. in this movie. So there's no connection whatsoever. And to Michael, Laurie was just a nobody. <laughs> right. Basically, there were people that lost more than she did that should have this this fear. Yeah. Like there were parents that lost their kids. Like that's, I'm sorry, Lori, but that's a little bit more important <laughs> than you're, you lost I'm sorry. your friends. <laughs> and I, I'm glad that they mentioned that. Even yeah. Hawkins mentioned that he wasn't going after her; he was going home. Yeah. And so I was like, that's that's really cool. I'm glad that they uh, that they did that. <laughs> that they had yeah. that little part in there. Right, Allison. Allison mentions it to the doctor or to the uh, cop Mm -hmm. toward the beginning of the movie. And then Hawkins tells Lori um, toward the end. And I was happy that someone told Lori because I was like, okay, yes, she needed to hear that. And (laughs) I think that's kind of a ballsy move for the writing and directing because that is the whole thing. That's the whole story Mm -hmm. is Michael versus Lori. So to kind of take that element out of it, that's kind of it's kind of risky. Yep. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I well, think they it's, took it out of it. It's played they out. Took that element, but, yeah, yeah, it is. And they they took that element out of it when they decided to not have them be related, right? Because there would be a connection there. There would be a reason for him to come after her right. if they were related. Um, but but see, they're uh, not. So there's how, no reason. How I look at it, like if I'm making a movie, and I, I try to put my self into the like studio's shoes um Mm -hmm. everybody knows the michael and Lori whole thing yeah you don't need to know that they're not related to go see this movie you know it's all about getting people to buy tickets right so Mm -hmm. if you keep the whole thing with michael is hunting Lori, you keep that a part of the story i feel like your average horror fan who remembers the michael and Lori thing Mm-hmm. you know they'll go see the movie and right. because they don't they don't care about the other films all they yeah. all they know is it's michael versus Lori. if you take that out then you're really changing the dynamic between the characters and mm-hmm. i feel like that's kind of risky um you know i don't know i i thought that was well, really cool that they would take that take that risk they took it out of the of the main story, but I feel like the fact that Lori tried to burn him alive yeah. kind of brings that back around again. Sure, to the point where he's now after her because yeah. he he was not ha- happy camper in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> he was um you know, he was shot and left for dead to burn alive <laughs> in Lori's house. Yeah, so I feel like. Yes, the original story had nothing to do with Laurie and Michael um, after hearing about this in this movie, but it does now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess <laughs> um, they are still connected to, uh, to a different, for a different reason. Mm-hmm. So, that's true. Yeah. So. And then he I mean, kills. It's going to be a four-year jump. I don't know where Michael's going to be, going to be at for four years. Yeah. To... <laughs> but. Um, and he, Michael kills, uh karen at the end too so yeah yeah so there's another connection there yeah um and that that ties in allison too and i always thought that she was going to be the one to ultimately take him down yeah like she's lost both of her parents and her boyfriend to this guy like she's she's lost more than Lori has (laughs) yeah (laughs) so um, okay, so another scene that I liked, Joey, you were talking about it, the uh, park scene, um, mm-hmm. where basically there's there's a good amount of kills there. Um, there's some kids that are swinging on a swing, and they're like, go home, go home, and kids are like, oh, <laughs> they're just like, whatever, and they're like, yeah. oh, there's this creepy guy with this mask, he keeps like playing yeah. hide and seek with us. <laughs> yeah, that dude, that would that freaked me out. I was like, dude, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, and, and then they show he's like he's over there, and then they show him like in the distance. Yeah, just was, just watching. Yeah, that was <laughs> mm-hmm. cool. That's like that's Michael. You know, that's what that's what you want from, yeah. from Michael Myers. You need to have some of that. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the the whole scene in the car. Um, another callback to the original, um, where he climbed on the top. Oh of yeah, the, of the truck and killed the nurse through the window mm-hmm. like he was trying to do in the first one. Yeah, shooting out the windows like, come on, you're you're yeah, shoot yeah. You're doing most shoot of the for him. <laughs> no, <laughs> not not good. <laughs> no, yeah, she's not a very good shot. Neither was the um the doctor either. That was yeah. that scene was actually funny to me. Yeah, yeah, like she was so she was such a bad shot. She wasn't even seeing Michael in, and she was shooting, in her yeah. shot, and she was still shooting at the car where there are two people, and yeah, they're both dead at this point, but I don't think she knew that <laughs> um, when she was shooting. And then he just like opens the door really fast, and she ends up shooting herself. Like, okay. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. loved that when he like, like hits Michael her. didn't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, he hits her with the door, and she like pulls the gun on herself. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was funny. <laughs> His death was kind of brutal, though. Yeah, through the eye. <laughs> through the eye, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like that they brought in little Julian from 2018, too. Oh, yeah. He was... Um, creep kid. Uh, the kid. Little, 
Yeah, the little <laughs> black boy from 2018. Oh, not the creep. Oh, that babys- guy. Yeah. Yeah, whose babysitter was killed. Yeah. Um, oh, and, like, yeah. on the news. <laughs> it's like, oh. Because, I mean, you would. You would see these characters come back. It's the same night. Mm-hmm. So, right. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty cool <laughs> to see that. What about. Okay, so his mask comes off. Yeah. <laughs> they I get his mask part. off. Um, yeah. I was not happy about that um i'm happy that you know it's fine they get his mask off but they show some pretty good shots of his face yeah they show his face for like a second it's like too a, much. A, a close <laughs> shot of it for like a second it's like, too much i was expecting to see more of his face honestly oh than, man yeah they show too. him from a distance his i wanted to <laughs> no no, I didn't, no. I didn't want to see his face at all, but it's just like... Not his face. <laughs> he doesn't have a face. <laughs> because you Michael see Myers him... Is pure evil. He doesn't yeah. have... Evil doesn't have a face. You see him, and he's like an old man. Like, he's not... Well, he's like 60. <laughs> he's not... I know, but you don't have to think about that when he's wearing the mask. When yeah. he's maskless, then he's human. Then he's this old man, and he's not scary anymore. So, <laughs> I don't know. I was like, no, that was a big mistake. <laughs> that was a big mistake. <laughs> I don't know. I like that. I like. I the, love. I love that part. The scene, the scene from Cameron's death all the way to the end of the movie was just yeah pure yeah. awesomeness. Yeah. <laughs> I it agree. was just pure adrenaline, pure like nonstop. It yeah. was it was really cool. Yeah, um, all but and his face was really good. <laughs> <laughs> you just close your eyes during that part. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, was, no, I, was no I thought it was cool that where, she took um, off took off the mask. Yeah, Man. she uh, knew so how cool. to get him, how to get him out, and yeah, uh, yeah. how to lure him into the into the mob. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lindsay did the same thing with when she was getting choked out by him, and she was like yeah. messing with his mask. Yeah, here and there, like uh, like these characters do know how to to you know prevent Michael from attacking right away. Right, he, that's <laughs> just his, go for the mask. It's his kryptonite. <laughs> that's oh his for power. sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so then he gets like really beat up. Um, he gets shot like mm-hmm. four or five times. <laughs> And yeah. then Karen comes over it's and a I, knife in the Yeah, I thought that was kind of lame where she decided to stab him. I thought why would you stab him like in the shoulder or like I thought it was the back. It, I thought I saw that she stabbed him in the back. Yeah, it it was the um, back but like the top of the back, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just thought you want him to be done. Like you got to do better than that. Yeah, you gotta go. And you just, yeah, you right just, in the face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Take his mask off and stab him in the face. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you just, you know, I mean, obviously, we know there's gonna be another movie, but mm-hmm. you know, he's not, he's not dead. When that's how you're deciding for him to be dead, like I don't know. Yeah. Um. But I loved when he just took the knife out of his back and just so cool going started just going mm-hmm. after the other people and yeah I thought yeah. that was really shot well too it was kind of chaotic yeah. and but really cool um that yeah. line that the what is it, the sheriff says before before all this happens like that line was so cheesy like I think he said something like um um everybody <laughs> deserves a good scare Michael <laughs> you know why he says that. Um. Oh, was it? Um. I don't think I do. No, I just thought that was kind of a cheesy line. <laughs> it's a super cheesy <laughs> line, but it's from the first yeah. movie, and he says oh, it. Okay. The sheriff says it in the first movie. Um, oh, I wow. think he says it to Loomis. I mm-hmm. think he like startles Loomis or oh, something. I think I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And then also Everybody deserves a good scare <laughs> in H two O. Um, Lori gets like startled by her mom in real mm-hmm. life. Yeah. Um, and she says the same thing. Oh, so, yeah. 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 So it's just a line that. <laughs> yeah. So, like, that things we have like to that. Use every 20 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very subtle. Yeah. Things like yeah. that. I'm like, okay, that's corny, but 
it's cool mm-hmm. because yeah you're you're respecting the audience to mm-hmm. a, so i feel like this movie can be enjoyed by people who are like diehard fans but then also like a casual yeah. uh fan so right mm-hmm. i love that kind of stuff there's there's still people i i have to assume that they're trolls at this point but on <laughs> facebook in our in our groups yeah there's still people that are like where's Where's her other kids at during all this? Like, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Your kids don't exist in this timeline. Like, you think that would have been made obvious Pretty clear. with the fact that he's been in the insane asylum for 40 years. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, and he just casually breaks yeah. out every once in a while and goes on a rampage and then goes back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so let's see. A couple more things. Big John and Little John. What would you guys think yeah. of, of them? I liked them. They were yeah, cool. I thought yeah, they were they super were cool. funny. Yeah. yeah, they were. I think it I remember, had a little comedic I element one of them to from it. Mad TV. Yeah. Oh, really? One of them was a, yeah, one of them was a um, regular on Mad TV. Was it a Big John or was a it, Little John? Um, <laughs> <laughs> little John. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Little John, if I'm not... Cause that's the tall one, I think, right? It was like it's like the, the older guy is Little John. The joke, yeah, the one that gets killed off screen. Um, I think it was Little John. Okay, the so guy with Big like, John the gray was the one that gets his eyes gouged out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so yeah, Little John was the one that uh, <laughs> was a regular on Mad TV. <laughs> <laughs> Little John. I so there was Little some John. humor in the um, 2018 film. Um, and I feel like this one was better. This one had better <laughs> humor and better placed humor. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I I thought they were cool. I thought they were funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, I like them. Yeah, it was it was good. And then you know they were funny. And then when the tension needed to ramp up a little bit with their deaths, mm-hmm. then they weren't funny. It was a serious, yeah, yeah. serious scene. Yeah. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. I feel like this movie really benefited from everything that came before it. Um, I feel like this movie, because of the first one, because of 2018, this one mm-hmm. had a lot um, that it used based on those movies that made yeah. this one really enjoyable for me. So I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like, you know, obviously once you're a sequel, you're benefiting off the first film. Um, but I feel like they, yeah, yeah, I feel like they use so much of the story from the first one and the 2018, um, that it really connected it well. And it really made this movie, uh, better than if it were just another, you know, Halloween film. Mm Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. 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 There were a lot of callbacks in this movie. for Sure. If you were like really paying attention. Um, Okay, and then there was a part uh, when Michael's kind of trying to get his mask. Um, they're showing him walking around, and mm-hmm. at one point he walks like from the side of the house um, toward like the street, and he walks through some shadows. And mm-hmm. I swear, it is an identical shot from Halloween Two when he's huh. leaving. Um, the town he's kind of walking through Mm -hmm. there's a part where he walks you know he does his little walk like he always does and he walks through these shadows and you can barely see him and i'm like when i saw that i was like that is i feel like they actually took the scene from halloween 2 and put it in the movie oh dang (laughs) i mean they probably didn't but (laughs) (laughs) that's how good it looked that's how like Mm -hmm. connected it was um so yeah, look for that. Yeah, I, I when, uh, yeah I, if next you watch time, it again, I didn't, I didn't notice that one. I think the last one. Well, I mean, for two, the last time I saw that one was probably during our um, Halloween. That was over a year ago. Yeah. Um, with our like Halloween series that we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a while for me for that one, but I'll have to go back and just rewatch the entire series again. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be watching this again before Halloween. Um, I really liked it. So this will be oh, yeah. one that I watch probably more often than a lot of the others in the series. How did, how did you feel about Cameron? Um, I liked him more There's, in this one. There were, 
a lot of people saying that um, he had a redemption arc in this movie, which I okay. Yeah, I liked him a little bit more in this movie than I did in the last one. But as far as redemption arc goes, there's no way he had a redemption arc. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, just because he wanted to kill Michael with yeah. the whole rest of the town is not a redemption story. Yeah. Um, and he was he was not a... I, I couldn't stand the character in the last one. Um, but his death scene was pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. And um, as far as what you were talking about earlier with him walking down the steps, walking down the stairs, yeah. that was the scene that you were talking about going after Allison. Right. right. And um, yeah, just just having him stop mid-step. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, he was staring at Allison the entire time. Right. He was like, like snapping his neck, like completely snapping it and like. I don't know that that whole scene was just that whole scene going forward was just like really awesome to yeah. me. <clears throat> um, and then the confrontation with him and Allison. Yeah. And I figured she wasn't going to die because she's probably going to be the hero in the next movie. Um, I I feel like it should. I mean, it definitely should be Laurie versus Michael as but as far as the the final. The final battle, <laughs> right, or what, whatnot. But I feel like he's probably going to kill Lori, and she is going to kill Michael. Um, in Halloween ends, Allison. And that's how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think There's... Lori will sacrifice herself for Allison, um, mm -hmm. and then Allison will kill him. Yeah. Or yeah, or you know what I want is I want Michael to kill Lori and get away. <laughs> and then That's and not... then and then Allison and then, and then lives. it'll be Halloween 60 years later <laughs> yeah I don't want Michael to die so I, he lives well, on he's the boogeyman based on what Lori was telling Officer Hawkins like there's no way they can kill him yeah. right no like he transcends with every kill and to the point where no what is she saying? Like no mortal weapon can kill him or something? Like <laughs> that that got a little a little heavy handed there too. Yeah. Um, you know they're trying well, that's to the case. Then nothing can actually kill him unless you're gonna bring in like I I don't even know like some religious weapon or something. I don't <laughs> have to do like you're an talking exorcism. About no, no mortal. No mortal weapon. Like, what do you? So, how do you defeat them then? <laughs> um, yeah, they they kind of you know tried to play up this whole boogeyman thing and mm -hmm. how he was like almost like Pennywise or like Freddy, where he yeah. like feeds on your fear and he's he yeah. is fear and you know all that. I'm like, uh, okay, those are different though. I mean. It's it's it was obvious in Nightmare on Elm Street that yeah. he's you know he's a supernatural being, and Pennywise is an alien from another planet. So, I mean, you went into this into the original uh, Halloween knowing that he's just a man. Yeah, he can be defeated, and that's what makes that's what puts him above the others because it's it's scarier. Yeah. <laughs> When just a regular person can just snap and go on a rampage like that, but now you're you're adding in the supernatural aspect to it, yeah. Um, that you kind of had in other movies, but the fact that this is a sequel to the original story, yeah, means that he should still just be a man, yeah, and not a supernatural being, yeah. And so it's you know I don't know if they're trying to literally do that or if it's more metaphorical. But, um, yeah. Unless like, he has a bulletproof vest on, he was shot like four <laughs> times in the chest. Yeah. So, during that mob scene. Yeah. <laughs> so, he shouldn't have been able to just get back up like that. True. It was one thing to have him hide in, um, during like the, the burning house at yeah. the end of the last movie. Like, that was believable because the fire wasn't getting into that area. Yeah. It's believable for him to have survived that. But but then you get into, like, the mob scene, and it's like, okay, he should be dead. Yeah. Like, there's no way a normal person can just survive four gunshots and then <laughs> get stabbed in the neck or in the back. I mean, you can survive that, but 
you're not getting right back up again. No, definitely <laughs> not. It's going to take you a long time to get back up. So I, I think they are in a certain... Unless he has a bulletproof vest on, which I don't see how he got his hands on. <laughs> that, that'd be so dumb. <laughs> that would be dumb if, like, they show him later and he, like, has a vest on or something. He takes off his vest <laughs> and he's fine. Yeah, that'd be lame. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, anything else you guys want to add before we say goodbye? How about the death of Karen? I think we so. didn't talk about that. Oh, yeah, at the very end. Yeah. So there is a theory going around that that was actually like a dream that Lori was having. Okay. Because that whole sequence oh. was kind of strange. It the was. Whole, it was a little weird. It was kind of dreamlike. Out the window, actually. and then having having her see what looked like was Michael upstairs. Yeah. And so I mean, she saw something. She saw somebody. Yeah. Which is why she went up there. Like, why? Why are you going up there? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that. And so that whole sequence was just, it was kind of strange. Yeah. Um, and just having her, it was, it was for being a, such a main character as Karen was, it was kind of, kind of lame to just kill her off that fast. Right. Um, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's possible that, you know, I guess we'll find out in the next movie if she lived or died, but I don't it know. It would be cool for a dream sequence like that though. Yeah, it, be, it kind of feel out of place cool. though. Like, where did this dream sequence come from? All of a sudden, is this is this what she thinks the future? Is this like a dream of the future? <laughs> maybe a little foreshadowing. How, yeah, maybe this is how the first the beginning of the next movie starts. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because how did Michael get up there without the police knowing oh. that he's there? Oh, and, he can I mean, get in. Oh, when, yeah, he has this way. <laughs> when he was there, though, like when she when Karen was there. Unless, because she left like right after she stabbed Michael, and then like, she went just back to the house. Sh- shortly, yeah, she went back to the house. But very shortly after that is when he got up and started rampaging everybody, killing yeah. everybody. Yeah. Um. So when did he get to the house at that point? Like, well, he just, just he walked. <laughs> It wasn't far. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it's a small town. He has his ways. But, like, she was ahead of him at that point, yeah. unless he's, well, like, he snuck in the back. Walker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we don't know how long, like, between um, him killing the mob mm-hmm. from when she goes up there. We don't know how long in between there was. Yeah. You know, it could have been hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, true. You could have stopped somewhere and got some some yeah, heat. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been a long night. <laughs> so, a uh, couple more things, and then we gotta end this. So, mm-hmm. um, something I noticed with the end of like horror movies or like action films or whatever, especially when it's women who are survivors. At the end, you know, the police save the day, or somebody saves the day, or whatever. And there's always Mm -hmm. outside, there's always an ambulance, there's always the women with like blankets or like an officer's Mm -hmm. coat or something. (laughs) It's always that. And they're always like holding a cup of coffee or, you know, something. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. why, why? Yeah. (laughs) It's always I mean, I mean, it's late at night. People people are probably tired and cold. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) It's just so, it's, it's so awful. It's funny. That is funny. That's a good observation. (laughs) I can see it with this movie just because it was Halloween. It was yeah. October. Yeah. It's, you know, it's the cold time of year. Right. Typically. Um, and bring your own late. coat. So, I mean, you know, it's probably what, midnight at this point? <laughs> yeah. Maybe slightly a little bit later than that. But. Um, and then also, so they were talking about how, you know, Michael would look out the window when he was a boy. Mm hmm. And maybe he wasn't looking out. Maybe he was looking in. He was looking at his yeah. reflection. Um, yeah. what if, what if Michael is just really possessive of his home? What if like he killed his sister because she was there and he didn't want her to be mm-hmm. there. And so then he killed, uh, uh Karen and the Cameron and was... the big, big John, little John, all those people little John. <laughs> <laughs> because they were there. <laughs> yeah. Lonnie. Yeah. You know, maybe that's it. Maybe he just wants to be left alone in his house. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's possible. Like, <laughs> I mean, what they were that's the only motivation I can think of. Home. So, 
He was just he was just wanting to go home. <laughs> yeah, he just <laughs> wants to go home. Just let the man go home. That's <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> and maybe that's where he's been for the next four years. Is he's just at yeah. home chilling. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just at home. <laughs> They just left him alone. <laughs> like, okay, you leave us alone, we'll leave you alone. <laughs> they have a truce. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. That's, That's it. Let's, we've talked enough. Um, <laughs> okay. So we look forward to the next one. Halloween ends. Yes. Can't wait for that. Um, October 14th, as of right now. So okay. Awesome. Next year. Good job, Bill. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're Unless on it. it gets postponed. <laughs> no, no. Joel has it on his calendar. <laughs> they announced it like yesterday or the day before. So. Okay, okay. All right. Well, this has been our review of Halloween Kills from 2021. And this has been Scare Talk. Sleep tight. Don't let Big John and Little John bite. <laughs> 